Hello everybody, Time Ranger here, and I'm bringing you a dreadful crime. This one is The Fiend of Fleet Street. I'm here too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just the one who sits there. This is one that's most promising. An important detective is missing. Skullduggery is surely afoot. Solve it, and I'll write it up quick as you please. Okie dokie. You! Your heart I like having a posse, so... Oh, it's not the camera. Call that though. He's a friend of mine. The whole station is out looking for him as we speak. Ironically, he came here on an investigation himself. Seems several Got people you. have gone missing in this part of town. He's a friend of mine. We don't need that. We've had Maybe reports of missing guy. people over the last few months. Okay, here, Detective um, Murphy is just the I'm gonna kind of put myself the in the game chat so I don't... Of. I'm not interrupting your video. I don't want to interrupt your videos. You're fine. I'm just gonna put this. No, I, I'm gonna go in game chat. I'll be right back. An odd man indeed. He spent a fair amount of time in here poking around. Some people around town just seem to vanish. It is mysterious. You know what, guys? I will return. Understood. I saw him going into the barbershop when I was on my way to work. In this kind of neighborhood, people come and go. That's my last clue right here. One that appears. Oh. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. George delivers that to us. It's amazing. The flowers just grow and grow. Sweet boy, constantly giving my assistant gifts, a jacket, a handbag, and so on. Looks like I'm gonna make a stop at the leather shop. He came in asking lots of questions. I believe I answered them to his satisfaction. Why would you want to know about him? Stupid boy. He does deliver tan leather on occasion, but I really have very little to do with him. I suppose there are a few people I haven't seen in a while. He seems like a very self-righteous person. Don't know if he's the type to murder people. But... George's delivery, I'm gonna have to check out that barber shop. Okay, so that's this, that's George's delivery stuff. It's time for a haircut. Yeah, I gave him a trim. He asked no ended questions. When I cut his hair, I noticed a tattoo right at the base of his neck. 
A green Celtic cross, it was. You're right. Several people have disappeared over the past months. Some of them were customers of mine. George was in here earlier, getting an haircut. He wanted to look nice for his girl. He's been seeing Joanna from the flower shop for some time now. Said he's finally saved up enough money to pop a question. Well, good for him. I really hope it's not him. Of course, there'd be sharp barber's razors. Where else would a hint at the barber shop be? You guys can That'll do. go. All right. Let's check out the roof. Aha. Well now, I didn't ask about this. I'm trying to quit drinking. Sometimes my hand shakes when I'm given a shave. Hmm. Let's pretend we believe you. Alright, Christian, you're in my stream right now. Sweet. Sure this is just going house. up on my person. No, this is going up on. This is going up on Twitch. Okay, so I guess we could call this our stream because you're part of Octavian and it's our Octavian channel. So yeah. Yep. Are you were Were you still making a video? Yeah, I'm still making a video. Okay. Eat for pies, force maneuvers. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, I'm, even though I'm being lag spiked, like none other right now. No wonder if I'm streaming. Guy didn't even see me. I'm just gonna stop the stream because it's lagging me a lot. There we go. That's better. Well, with my stream, so. This Holy is getting okay. all sorts of messed up. Like how? Okay, so to fill you guys in, if you haven't been paying attention, I'm sol I'm trying to solve a, mis a disappearance case when many people have gone missing over the past while. We've had hints of a guy giving deliveries and he's earned enough money to propose to his girlfriend. He also call, basically wrote to the detective telling him that he doesn't that he has an idea of where he's getting his of where the stuff he's ordering is from. The leather shop person hates him and the barbershop person's left a trail of blood towards the guy's house. He was in here 
asking about missing people. But a meat pie, he did. Stephen chatted for a few minutes, then headed off to the barber. I'm told that some people have gone missing, but I don't know anything about it. Where would some clues be? Smells a little odd. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. He was in here asking. No, George no, no, no. delivers meat from the pies. Lovely lad. I pay on delivery. I believe he picks it up from a local butcher shop. I have found every location now. I just need to check out the butcher shop next. Away to the butcher shop I go. And while I'm here... I'm just gonna... Pick this lock. We got a color. You mean the annoying bloke nosing around? I told him to sod off. I pride myself on the quality of the beef I sell. Somebody selling cheap around here, though. My sales have dropped off. George? I don't know any George. What? He doesn't know the kid that does the deliveries. Let's talk with the kid's girlfriend. What gun is that? George is my sweetheart. I think he plans to propose marriage soon. Maybe even today. George, I hoped he'd stop by. I want to see his new haircut. He must be at his house. Oh, I do hope he proposes soon. I have everything needed to solve the mystery. What? Well, it's definitely looking like someone who has access to the stamps is the is the is a murderer, but he doesn't know. He has, he says he has an idea of where he's getting the meat. Let's grab just. Okay. So we have a crate of meat that smells a bit odd. Okay, so George is delivering meat to her, so... Hmm. It's George. But we haven't met George. Make hay while the sun shines. Huh. So he doesn't it's know George, funny. apparently. It's kind of funny because in the game, there's a there's a gun called the Haymaker, and then one of the zombies characters 
It says make hay while the sun shines whenever you get the hay. And that's like a really old saying. I know. I think it's kind of cool. So, puncture shaped, diamond shaped wounds, just killed. Oh, it's George. Oh man, the brekkie's not one of those guns. Okay, so I think it's the guy from the long way. I would pay if I could, kid. Okay, so the guy from the leather shop detests him. Why would you want to know about him? Stupid boy. He does deliver tan leather on occasion, but I really have very little to do with him. Okay, so... The delivery kid is dead. He was killed by a flower sh not flower, by a diamond shaped hole, like leather punch. <clears throat> there is a leather working guy who says he doesn't like him. So I'm going to accuse the leather working guy. He was coming too close to figuring out where all those people went. Like a possible oh, the baker, the florist, and me. I very did it right. Puzzled that one out. A very unpleasant crime. Perfect for one of Mr. Raymond's penny dreadfuls. That is quite sad. <coughs> <coughs> but anyways, guys, that was the dreadful case of this, this time, <laughs> I guess. Thanks for joining me on Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Say bye, James. See you guys. Have a good night.